so in this video, um, the phone rang on the last one, so I didn't really get to talk to you about um, inking. So after you get everything all colored, you're gonna ink it and just go over the lines, the detailed lines. If you can add detail to your sketches, they'll look a lot more professional. What I mean by details is like, buttons, zippers. You're drawing little dash lines like this to make zipper, to represent that it's a zipper. Doing a pull for the zipper right here. Um, stitching. If you look at your clothes, look at the bottom of your t-shirt, you'll see stitch lines. So I added little dash lines down here at the bottom to represent stitching. If you look at a pair of pants, the zipper, normally a fly front zipper has a little bit of stitching right there. So I just added a little detail there. The other thing um, is when you are inking, anything that you can put your hand up into, that line should be a little bit darker than the rest of your inks. And so you just remember anything that you can stick your hand in, like this flap of the pocket, I can stick my hand up the flat of that pocket. So I'm gonna make that line a little bit darker there and also right there. The ins, I could put my hand inside the jacket. So this, my hand can go inside the jacket here and inside here. So I'm going to make that line a little bit darker here to show that I can stick my hand in there. And then also on this side as well. It's a little bit darker. I can stick my hand down um, the, the neck part of the t-shirt. So I made that line a little bit darker. But everything else is kind of a single layer line, so just keep that in mind. Also, the bottom of the t-shirt here, I think I already said that one. Um, the pant leg, I can stick my hand up the pant leg here, so that would be a little bit darker. This one too. And, um, and then I just went through all the other stuff, so now I've got all my inking done. And after you've got all that done, then what you're going to do is take a pair of scissors. And I'm going to just kind of sloppy cut this right here to make it easier for me to cut out. So I am not going to cut into the center of the legs. I'm not going to cut this. I'm just going to kind of do a border. I'm going to do kind of like a, an eighth of an inch border around my sketch. So I'm gonna go slow, take my time to cut around my sketch. Doing about an eighth of an inch white border around it. So then, once I get done all the way around,
you'll notice I didn't, I just left that the way that was. And then you're going to, at home, if you have some glue or you have tape, you're just going to um, tape this down. Roll the back of the tape if you don't, so you're not putting tape on top of it or glue. Glue would be, a glue stick would be better. And you're just going to glue that down. For the students that are in class, um, I'm going to have you guys do um, double-sided tape and you're going to put a bunch of different pieces of double-sided tape. Just look right here. Um, let me go get it real quick so I can show you. Okay, here's your double-sided tape. Okay, so you so I'm just going to tear off a piece here and I'm just going to cut some little pieces off. And just do a bunch of little pieces off like this. Just going to do the round my um the croaky sketch here Okay, thank you. All right, so I've got that all there. So now I'll just peel that little paper off. I'm going to rub it here to make sure the tape sticks to the paper and then pick that off. Done here, and I'll put that on top. I'm done. All right, and then now this tape like sticks really well, so make sure you kind of slowly. do the same thing for the female and that's it